Hello everybody and welcome to Magic the Gathering Arena. Uh, today we're just doing a quick little pack opening. We have, uh, I think I we figured it out, the 23 packs here. Uh, we're going to be starting with the oldest ones and then moving up. Yeah. So I think the Instrad is the oldest one you got there. Instrad? Yeah, right. because that they I think you get that with your um with gaining rank through the uh mm. mastery system. Mm -hmm. Alright, so we'll go ahead and start with this one, see what we can get. We're hoping for some enchantment killers. That is um not that great. Yeah, it's very expensive for a four three. And uh when it enters the battlefield you tap all your your creatures your opponents control. Um that's that's just really expensive for a 4-3 that taps creatures. This doesn't really help unless you're trying to swing out and win the game. It is an angel, though, so... If you're building out an angel, that could be pretty nice. Yeah. We'll save that for last to look at. Village Messenger turns to Moonrise Intruder. Has Haste. And Menace when it transforms. That's that's actually pretty good. Uh, it's a 1-1 one, one that turns into a 2-2 two, two at the beginning of your upkeep if a player casts two or more spells last turn. Okay, so it's just a wolf that upgrades. Yeah, but it's a 1-drop, so I, I like that. I'm not a big fan of 1-drops. Nah, that's your opinion. Oh, uh, that's just flavor text. Yeah. I don't like those cards. I love the art for them, but they should do more. Yeah, I love the Jack Lantern style. Um, Imprisoned in the Moon. I'm a big blue player. So I like I like getting blue uh, blue cards anytime I can. Add one and you lose all other card types and abilities. Okay. Huh. Okay. That's not great. <laughs> no, no. I read that and that's not great. Uh, X damage to target creature where X is two plus the number of cards named. Okay, so that's good if you have a bunch of them. Um, but that's the only thing you can only have four in a deck. Yeah. If it's I mean, it still does two anyways, but so. After you get to the fourth one, it's doing six damage for one. Right? No, it'd be doing eight. No, 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 two plus the number of cards named. So you could do five total. Oh, dang. That, that's that's still good. I mean, a one drop five damage if you played all four? Yeah, but that's just it's just, that's just a little bit weird. That's like shock with extra steps. <laughs> that's a good explanation for that card, I think. Yeah. Borrowed Malevolence, uh, Escalate. I think one of us actually has this card in, in real life deck. Yeah, and it, is, it does not work well. No, it sucks. I mean, it's not bad. But it that, requires a certain play style, I think. Not only that, but it's mono black, and the only time that really works is if you're playing with like red decks that are able to pump out, mm -hmm. which none of us do. So. <laughs> and then hom Homunculus... Creature, Stitcher Apprentice. Sacrifice, and then Sacrifice. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, well, unless you're playing like a blue-black Sacrifice. Unle unless you're making like a bunch of 1-1 one -one tokens for easy Sacrifice, um, yeah. then yeah, you're, you're not. Wait, good. could you just Sacrifice your token as you bring it out? I think you I, I think you can. Well, I mean, which could be good in a Sacrifice deck. Yeah, like if you're playing blue-black Sacrifice. But honestly, I do not think... Hey, what's our legendary? Ooh, a green. That's... Oh, Vigilance Trample, and it is a uh, power according to... The number of cards in your hand. Number of cards, so at most a 7-7. Seven, seven. Unless you're playing a blue-green and get... Like, um, Drawlers. The card to give you unlimited hand size. Yeah, but that, that takes a while. And that... Yeah. That, um, I mean, I, I would still say that's good. Oh, oh, when you transform it, it's the power and toughness are equal to the number of cards in all players' hands. That could be good. That could be good, yeah. Okay. Um, At the beginning of your upkeep, if you if a player casts two... Okay, that's just, yeah. That's just regular were, werewolf thing. Okay. Um, Am I good to click off? Yeah, go ahead and open up the other one. Yeah. All right, let's see what we can get in this next one. Uh, okay, I already see okay. something that may be of usefulness. All right. right, tell me. That top, that top left one. Dusk Feaster. Yeah. Okay, Delirium. For three or more card types among the cards in your graveyard, so. So you could you could cast this for technically free, I guess, or for two, just for two mana. Yeah, two never mind. 
to cast if there are four or more card types. So it only does it once. Yeah, so you can cast it for four. No. Or three. You can two cast... Plus, two plus three is five. Five, yeah. yeah. So that's not great. My math, guys. Excuse me. Um, That's not great. Yeah, okay. Hamlet, Captain of Blancs, and other humans you control. So if you had a human warrior deck or... That is a human tribal deck, and I love it. And yeah. Blue, I like that. Green, white, human tribal is really good. Yeah, cool. yeah. Then we got another human warrior. We got Briar Bridge Patrol as well. But what was that power? Two to see for a two drop. Personally, I love warrior when it says warrior because you know you got a bunch of stuff that give it plus one plus mm -hmm. ones. One, uh, so when this one deals damage to one or more creatures, you investigate. Oh yeah, I love investigate because it gives you a clue token. Yeah. So you just get to draw a card. And then if you if you do it three times and then you sacrifice it, you may put a creature across from the hand onto the battlefield for free. Well, I mean, it costs it would cost six, but. See, but that's like that's still reduced cost over time. Yeah. Well, I mean, like if you think about it, if you had like a ten drop, twelve, twelve T Rex or something, yeah, you could play it for six. Or like a um, what are they called? Those crazy colorless creatures. That oh, those artifacts like hulking mat, not hulking mat. Um, the ones that like are usually like way too powerful. The ones I have, right? Yeah, like the Perex. They they not Perexians. They're, no, um, um, where's my commander deck at? I do not. Josie, know. grab my commander deck over there. It's in one of the white boxes. You might want to edit that part. No, it's fine. Nobody cares. Nobody will watch this far into the video anyways. Uh, the one that doesn't say my deck box on it. So cards like uh, future me may or may not put a picture of what we're talking about on screen. Actually, even better yet, I know what I can do. Let me let me find it first. I don't think it's in that deck. I have some in this deck. Um, because what are they called? The creature type. They're artifact creatures. But they have devoid mana. Oh my god! I can't believe that we're what we're messing up this bad on a magic video. <laughs> what do you mean we're messing up this bad? The Magic the Gathering fans are gonna get mad at us. You gotta think of how many different cards are in this game. To be able to try and remember every single one of them would be an impossible feat. Yeah, but this is a whole creature type that we're forgetting. I'm thinking of artifact creatures. What are you thinking about? I'm thinking of this. Uh, it technically is considered a colorless artifact creature, but it's called something. Prototype? No, they um, Eldritch uses them. They're like the large creatures, usually with like Annihilator. Oh, ah, uh, um. See, you even forgot. Eldrazi? That. Eldrazi, yes. The Eldrazi cards. That's what we were trying to think of. Yeah, you don't have to find the card down. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Okay. Um, think I, like I uh, Kozilek yeah. type I, cards. I cannot believe that Great Distortion one card got us off on a tangent. Yeah. Well, you know, that's the beauty of this game. There's so much. The, what? There's like 30 years of history? That, that, no. Yeah, well, yeah, close to 30 years of history with this game. Hopefully, your future self edits that out. No, no, that's that's the bear. That's what we love to see. Then you have Gats. Ah, uh, it's just another werewolf. Gat staff ravagers. It's just another werewolf card for yeah. five mana. Nah, not great. Uh, six five when you a six five with menace isn't bad. Yeah, until you realize it's a six five. Yeah, it only gives it a 1-1 one, one when you transform it. Yeah. Um, then that's your turn 2 card. So you're just you're getting 2 back and then discarding 1. So you're only going to get 1 back. Is this even like playable now, though? Because I think that card is one of the banned list. Because that's way too powerful, if you think about it. Um, I don't know, actually. I mean, we'll know when we got to build a deck if it is, because it won't show up. Gain control of target creature until end of turn. Untap it. It gains trample and haste until end of turn. I like that. I mean, yeah, because you love stealing. I do love stealing. Alright, so that is not... Oh. oh. Well, I guess we're just not going to see that one. Yep. Alright, anyways. So now we go to Brothers War. Right? Yeah. That was on me for accidentally skipping that one card. A blue-red. Woo! When Yoshin Courier attacks, choose one that wasn't chosen during your last combat. You can attack Power Stone token or seek an artifact called mana value equal to the number of Power Stones you control. Oh, that's good. 
That is good. So you just have to flip flop every turn. Pretty much. That ain't bad. It's a what, oh, two? dude, that that thing right there. Go back. This. Yeah, that is really good. I've used it in a knight deck or a soldier deck, and it was able to perform really well. Holy crap! So when you play this, the next creature. It gets plus one, plus one. And, it and when it leaves the battlefield, the next creature you play. And you also have Unearth on it for two, so you're basically... Bring it back. So you get two more plus one, plus one counters. And you can play multiple of these because it's not legendary. And it's... Yeah, you can you can play at least four. And then Airlift Chaplain, and that's that, just... That's just kind of a mech card in general. Yeah, you dropped something, I think. Yeah, that was my phone. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Probably want to stop doing that. Seeker so card, or Perilous Iter... Iteration, I, secret card. Oh, go ahead. Personally, I love red green. Uh -huh. It's fun. It, it can do a lot of things, but giant growth. it also just kind of sucks. Mm -hmm. The only thing that's good at is werewolf decks, and I hate going against those. So yeah. Oh wait, you have to discard that. That just makes you discard cards. What? Well, that could be useful in some decks. Yeah, I guess you're right. Okay. Then we know, everyone knows what Overwhelming Remorse does. Yeah. That's a good exile card. And then you have this one. Oh, er, do I? No, no, I'm thinking of the, no, I'm thinking You're of thinking of the black version. Yeah, I'm thinking of the black. Because that one, whenever you draw a second card, you get a plus one, plus one counter. And it has some extra text that tells you that you can return a card to creature card. <laughs> With its mana equivalent equal to its, yeah. So mm -hmm. that one's a little bit better. And it's also cheaper. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, Giant Growth is a great instant for a green deck. Yeah. But not many people use it. because Oh, that is good. This, guys, this is what we call peak card opening. Because the Quicksilver Amulet is probably one of the best cards you can have in, like, an artifact deck. Not only an artifact, just in any deck. Yeah, yeah, because it's just you put a creature from your hand onto the battlefield, so it could be like a ten for, cost creature for four, and you're costing it four, and you can have four of them in your wanna. Yeah, you uh, can't have four artifacts in your deck. Yeah, you can, because artifact being legendaries don't count. And the only bad thing though is that you can't use that in regular play. It has to be in historic because of the artwork. Mm hmm. But personally, I love historic. So yeah, historic is fun. It's just that it's really hard play. All right, all these uh, first goblin go. firebomb. That that's a that's a flop right there. We're at this one. Yeah, that's just a flash. Flop. Oh my god, seven. Seven and a tap, dude. It sucks. It's a one mana drop, but sucks just in general. Yeah, I mean, I guess it's a good like fill your deck up if you ain't got enough cards to fill, make a sixty card deck card. You know. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Um. Still got Lantern. Uh, when it What's... enters the battlefield, you get to exile a card from a graveyard. Sacrifice to exile each opponent's graveyard. Wow. Yeah, I've used that on you before. You don't remember? You have. Because uh, I think I was letting you play with my graveyard battle deck. So the I one used... that you could pull from your graveyard. Yeah, so I, so I exiled your graveyard so you couldn't use it anymore. And then you almost you immediately killed me right after, too. Yeah. Hercules um, Prodigy enters the battlefield. Power stone. Okay, create a power stone token. Uh, you can pay three to give make it a three four. That's not great. <laughs> oh, but it can't be blocked this turn. Oh, it keeps a plus two plus zero. Oh. Yeah, but that's still not really great, in my opinion. I mean, it's a soldier, and I personally love soldiers, but. Hmm. Well, think if you had one, if you had the card that gives all your creatures haste. Yeah. Not haste, but uh, vigilance. Yeah, but still, it's just kind of... But you can just keep building that power up, though, can't you? I mean, you can, but it's still, like, four toughness, so... Eh. Mm, yeah. Be good if you could put, like, a trample counter on this it one's or good. something. First strike and scry. Exile it. You exile it and scry, too. And scry too. I personally love it because it lets you shuffle through your library, and mm -hmm. for a black... Um, black white. Black good. white. You want to shuffle through your library. Even a like a white blue, you, it'd be good to shuffle through your library too. And it's a one drop, so I use this thing all the time because not only does it do first strike and you can kill your whatever your opponents are throwing at you, but hey, I get to shuffle through my library as well next turn. Mm -hmm. And then our Givian Welcome is just it's just a destroy card. 
Yeah, but it, it does a little bit more. It's pretty good for a blue white. Mm hmm. Because it gains flash. It gives a creature. Oh, flash. it does. I wasn't paying attention to that. I thought it said a land card in your hand gains flash, and I was like, what What would that matter? A non land card. But it's card. a non land card. So you could put, like, like, if you had a. I think it works for sorceries, so it basically turns, sorcer turns sorceries into instants, instants almost. I'd have to look into that. I don't know if that's how that works. But, we already looked at Gama Fireball. Yeah, that, that sucks. Um, we know Yoshin Medic. That it's, it, it, it's good if you have something that can give it more power. But other than that, it's kind of a beef, it's a beef a, boy. It's a blocker. It's, it's a Voltron. It's a Voltron card. Yeah. Let's be honest. And it's yeah. not great. No. Uh, it's not great. Um, then Power Stone Fracture. That's a I sacrifice actually, card. I like that. Actually, I like that because you can have a sac. You can make a bunch of power tokens. Uh huh. And just and just destroy target creature or planeswalker. In a black deck, you don't care about sacrificing no. creatures. Oh, oh I wow! Personally, love this card. That hex poof from white and black. Not only that, but read what it does. Whenever one or more knights you control attack, draft a card from Radic. So look at its spellbook oh, though. Oh, it's got fifteen cards in its spellbook. And it's all knights, and it's all really good. It's all really good knights. Holy crap! I have used that card in one of my black mid grade black white decks. It instantly is a target of spells, and if your opponent's playing black or white, which is pretty common in it's it's your go your gold. You're pretty much gold. And wow. And even then, even if they tap it down or keep it from attacking. That counts for any knight. Yeah. So the knights that it's already gotten out are going to be doing something. And in a knight deck, which, by the way, black and white decks are usually always are, are soldier or knight, boom. That is crazy, dude. I put my, um, on my uh, account, I put that along with that two drop that prevents all life gain. Uh, future Jesse, please put that on the screen if you can. <laughs> which one? The one that prevents all life gain, or your opponent's life gain. That black one, the black knight. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty good. But yeah, that's just really good in a card in general. I'm going to put that in my deck right now. You would have to you would have to make a couple copies of it, though. Yeah, I mean, I could. I have enough. That or you can make a, you can make a uh, Brawl deck out of it. I know you don't like Brawl, but I like it. Yeah. I'll get into Brawl one day. I just need more cards. I need a more variety of cards before I play Brawl. Well, on to the next pack. On to the next one. Do you want to, like, lightning around it here soon? Yep. We'll go ahead and do it. Belagi Antiquarian. It's got haste. Uh, you can make a duplicate of it. What's... And the duplicate gets unearthed. What's that um, assembly team? I think that one's pretty good. Assemble the team. Uh, put, search the top 30 of your library, round it up for a card, put that card in your hand, then shuffle. So it's a good shuffle card. Well, not only can you put a, you put a card from there. Yeah. Put it in your hand, then you shuffle. But it's just good for being able to shuffle your deck. Not only that, but like, just get a card out of your deck. It's just yeah, 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 yeah. And then mill, the Wasteful Harvest, you mill five cards, put a permanent card from among the cards you milled this way into your hand. Eh. That's not terrible. Not terrible, but pretty good. Draw two cards and then discard a card. Get a power tap power stone card token. That's pretty good. Recommission. Um, pause it if you want to read all that because I'm not reading all that. Yeah, just keep on going through. Let's, uh, let's start looking at the uh, legendary cards now. That one's not great. I've used it. No, before. I don't like that too much. Uh, I've used that before. I have too. Choose a creature type. Um, they all permanently get one one plus one. Yeah. If you want to read that, just go ahead and read it. We're not going to read it all out. Wow, I like that a lot. Yep. On to the next pack. The next pack. Let's just go ahead and look at the legendary cards. Just well, kind of, just kind of like open them up. Well, yeah. I'll just, you know, I'll hover over all the cards for a second. And then yeah. if we, we're interested in any of them. At this point, guys, we're already 20 minutes in. We're just going to look at the ones we're interested in. Yeah, and I got to get somewhere here after here. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, Use that thing, not really great. If you want to, just pause whenever we hover over these cards for you to look at them. The only ones we'll focus on really are the legendaries. Oh. Oh, I like this one. I like that one. Because um, you can pay that one on on their inst on their it's, draw step and draw one when they do. It's kind of like a reverse um, tutor. It, that one card, that blue card that everybody uses in Commander, you know what I'm... 
Uh, the one that lets everybody draw a card every turn? Well, basically, if you draw every single time you play a sorcery or something like whatever you play a spell, you uh, if the person doesn't pay one, you get to draw a card. But it's like oh. the reverse of that, so... That's kind of cool. Yeah. I like I like mine, though. I like that one. There's a lot of stuff that turns it off, though, so... Mm -hmm. Okay, we love Bonesaw. Everybody loves Bonesaw, I don't care what you say. We love this one. Uh, we, we got two of those now. I can put those in something somewhere. Yeah. We like this figure. I do not, actually. I, it's a one drop, negative two, negative two. I like that. Yeah, but like, think about that. It's good early game, but terrible late game. And a lot of times you don't get it early game. I guess it. If you look at it that way, then yeah, this is a three drop, two, two with flying and prowess. Uh, when you cast a non-creature spell, this creature gets plus one, plus one until end of turn. So, pretty much just this for sorceries. That's a blue-white card. Uh, you've already got that one. You know the third path. Draw a card, then you gain life equal to the number of cards in your hand. I actually like that. That's good, but it's it's just a pretty much a simple life gain card for white. Mm -hmm. Which, white always loves life gain. And I hate that card. This is the thing we were talking about earlier, where it was like you had the artifact creatures, and then you could pay them for their prototype cost. Yeah, they're uh, kind of... At the beginning of your upkeep, return target creature card with power less than Forge Fire Automaton's power from your graveyard to the battlefield. Its base power perpetually becomes equal to four. Okay, wow, that's, I actually like that. I'm not a big fan of that. Because either you're paying three and getting a three card that is going to just remain three, or you're going to get a card that's just going to remain eight, or you pay seven. You're basically tapping out for that card. And unless you have something like Foundry Inspector to make that cost cheaper. It's not that great. Yeah, but think you get you get a free card because most of your cards aren't going to be higher than an eight. You're getting a free creature back every turn. Not every turn. It's just when that thing comes out. No, at the beginning of your upkeep. Every upkeep. That's why I'm saying I like that. But its power becomes uh, equal to a three cost, a three cost, a three or an eight. Yeah. So every creature you, you bring out from your graveyard, it would be good if it was legendary because I could make that into a commander. Yeah. But because it technically is a black card, so millstone gotta love millstone. Love that. I might actually put that in that black that white black oh, I have. The prowler is one of my favorite cards. Works for a green black tech that loves it. I do like that. I like Surveil. Um, you've seen me use Mutt before, the Scrap Worker Mutt. Yeah, I like Scrap Worker Mutt. It does its job. It does its job. What I is like this it. one? I don't think I've ever seen this one. It's not great. At the beginning I... of your upkeep, if this card is exiled, it perpetually gets plus one, plus one, then you may put it on the battlefield. I really don't like that card. That, that don't seem very good. Uh, oh! Not a two... Put two plus one plus one counters on each of X target lands you control. They become zero zero elemental creatures with reach, haste, and when this creature leaves the battlefield, conjure a card named Forced onto the battlefield tap. There still lands. Mm, not uh, so what's the X for then? Oh, so I, I, I can talk on a certain number of lands with that. Yeah, it's not the grid. No, it's not terrible. That's a bunch of two twos though, if you really needed them. Now, now we're off for X here, right? Yep. Rexha, I will be one. I will be one. Ooh, love my sub self. Rexing news. That one's pretty decent because it gets stronger and stronger. Oh, oh, you do. And it does have trample. And yeah. it's black green, so you get a lot of graveyard recurring. Uh -huh. I like prophetic prism. That card's just whatever. Yeah, it's just uh, searching for a land. Or oh, it recurring. proliferates for poison. I mean, it could be good, but it's not the greatest. I don't use yeah. it very often. Tap an enchanted creature, then proliferate. Enchanted creature doesn't untap. But okay, that's not bad. By the way, I think Josie just left. <laughs> yeah, she probably got tired of us yarding out for 25 minutes. Um, uh, uh, neither of the... Or, well, it's a toxic, but yeah, it's not neither of those are very interesting cards. Uh -oh. Ooh. Ooh. I do not have that one, but I've seen it played. I it like that. Sebastian has that one. Yeah, it, it does get pretty decent. Mm hmm. I like that. I like that a lot. I like a lot of the Phyrexia cards. 
Yeah, but it's poison counters with... Oh, boy. Okay, I'm liking this one already right here. Oh, no, you should look at the uh, blue one down there. What, this one? Oh, okay. Each opponent gets a poison counter and you draw a card. That's a good two drop. That is a amazing two drop, in my opinion. An oil counter on Rusty Vine Cold Vader. Remove an oil counter. Untap What's, target land. What is that white one over there? I think I've seen it, but this I don't... One? Yeah, but I don't... Enchant artifact, creature, or planeswalker. Enchant a permanent can't attack or block, and its activated abilities can't be activated. That's good for stopping a planeswalker, but... Yep. For like if they have a creature like this, it'd be good to yeah. stop its activated abilities. Let's see what we got here. No. Okay, I've never seen this card before. I am not a big fan of this one, but it does enter the battlefield as a copy of a card. Mm -hmm. And this spell costs one a class if you weren't a if you weren't the starting player. So basically, you can get it down to a four drop yeah. or a three drop. Three drop. Okay, last Phyrexia pack I think we have. Yep. March towards perfection. I like this one. Um. Yeah. Yes, this is the one I'm thinking of. I like this one. Oh, I have seen that, but I've never played it. Mm -hmm. Choose an equipment card in your hand that perpetually gains equip one. Dark equipment you control perpetually gains equip one. That's good. That is good. Uh, flash gains hexproof and uh, creature gets plus two, plus two. That uh, Phyrexian uh, thing over there, the fairy and the artifact. This one? Yeah. That one gets pretty good. Had one man of any color. When Phyrexian Atlas becomes tapped, each opponent who has three or more poison counters loses one life. I like that. Uh, spells cost three more to cast if it targets a creature. And you get the exile target on land permanent. That's a cool land. Yeah, but they don't do that much. No, you can you can sacrifice a draw cord. Yeah, I'd rather just stick with my school bombs because they're good artifacts. Mm-hmm. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, you proliferate, and if you proliferate during your turn, draft a card. You're getting a lot of spellbook cards, I which... Like, I like that. I like spellbooks. So do I. I wish they would bring it back. Mm-hmm. Okay, now it's March of the Machine, right? Yeah. I am not ready for Aftermath, because Aftermath is not that great. <laughs> <gasps> oh, crap, you got one of my favorite angels in there. That yes. boy, yep. I use that as a commander, because it's just like getting the free value out. Wrong. Whenever you cast your second spell each turn, look at the top three cards of your library. Put one of them in your hand and the rest into your graveyard. For black-white graveyard recursion. That's not bad. Transform, sun blessed. Not that great. I, I've what, is, what, is the, what is the red there? Is that just a red? It's a like Phyrexian mana. It's Phyrexian mana. So, I think you can pay two and chance for it. Uh, all these other ones are kind of eh. This one's not terrible. Yeah, but then again, you love blue cards, so. Yeah. I've Doom seen that. Warrior. It has backup. I was telling you about backup yesterday. That thing has been changed so many times. Yeah. Um. I don't mind that one. That was not bad. I like black backup cards. I personally have a commander deck that is backup in real life. And uh, I, I, I beat Jesse after he got me down to one life. Dude, I love these arts. I love also, a 9-3 for a 5? Yeah, but it's 3 life. A lot of people play it, okay? I know that. I know, but like, imagine if you have like something that can tap all their creatures or something. Ooh, I incubator. like this. Yeah, I love incubators. Um, You saw an incubator. <laughs> yeah, with Jacob. Jacob. Oh, yeah. boy. That thing gets out of hand. Uh, I, I don't think I like that one. I don't like the transform cards, the new transform cards, because yeah. they're just not as good as they used to be. Oh, that's oh, good. Oh, that's a cleric, too. Yeah, and you know, and I know you love your elephants. I do like elephant call, uh, elephant decks. Because you're weird. So? <laughs> I have every right to be weird. I know you do, Jesse. Well, I hey, we're getting... We're getting really cool artwork. Oh. Sad, sadly, you can only use those in historic. Those artworks, you know, that you yeah, see? Yeah, I, I hate that. Cause I don't like playing historic very much. I mean, it's just such a hard format to learn. Mm-hmm. In general, it's just... Uh, none of these are... Well, I guess this one's kind of interesting. 
yeah. the invasion of Kamigawa. I love those invasion ones, or those siege ones, because they just, there's something different. Oh, wow. I got a Phyrexian Praetor. Or pra Praetor. Mm. Uh, draw cards equal to the number of cards in your hand. You have no maximum hand size for long as you control the Great Synthesis. I like that. You get it for three turns. Wait. That's Ward. Yeah. I yeah. like Ward better than Hexproof. Hexproof is broken, in my opinion. Ward is actually, like, a functioning... How much is the... Oh, it's only a Ward 2 cost. Ward is better, in my opinion. Yeah. I, I mean, I like it fine. Because it just makes the game more fun. Oh, that black-green, you're about to love it. It works so well in a green-black I'm going to look at everything else first. It works so well in a green-black deck. Um, That gives you life. I appreciate that, but I don't... I don't like the transform cards. I, I really don't. They're not my favorite things to play. Another incubator. Yeah. Whenever you gain life, eat. No, I think I have one of these. Like in real life. Here, I have something that looks similar to that, I think. Uh, but whenever you gain life, each opponent loses one life. Sacrifice another creature. Dina Soul Steeper gets X. Zero until end of turn. We exit the sacrifice creature power. I like that. I like this too. Didn't Jacob play that against us? Yeah, he did. I, I'm pretty sure he did. Because you get to incubate three times. Yeah, not only oh, no, that, but no. his commander made incubator tokens. Wait, no, you get to incubate three X times. So three. Yeah, so he got he got multiple incubation triggers off of that one. I remember. Yeah, he. I mean, and he absolutely lit us up. I'm so glad I exiled that card when I had the chance. Yeah. Oh, that's a cool looking one out there. Mer it's a Merfolk Wizard. And it's legendary. One less cost for every artifact you control. There's another invasion card. Somebody's blowing my phone up right now, too. Eurobrask. Uh, it's just another Saga. The Saga's can be really good, though. Yeah, it's just, you got to kind of build a deck around a saga most of the time. Do, do you remember that enchantment deck I showed you with, uh, what's his name? Oh. What? Yeah, that can happen. Sometimes they'll just give you cards so you can make more copies. Okay, that's cool. I actually appreciate that because that, that's a mythic rare it gave me. Oh, dude, look how cool that one looks. Yeah, that one is interesting, needless to say. I actually don't like what it does, though. Well, actually, it's not bad. I'm yeah. noticing you're getting a lot of red cards. I am too, but I don't like playing red at all. Oh, there's a black. Back up one and death touch. Oh, no, that creature card is pretty good as well. Yeah. Whenever it deals combat damage, you get to return a target creature. Yeah. All the way to the battlefield, not even to your hand, but just to the battlefield. Anything that returns to the battlefield is gonna be good. Yes, always. Sadly, it's banned. <laughs> uh, none of those look very interesting to the me. Siege. This one. Yeah. You no, know, I mean all the sieges ones do like the same things though. No, they do something different. What? For the most, oh wow. Oh wait, what does that do? Create tokens you control have haste at the beginning of combat on your turn. Create a two-one blue Phyrexian mirror artifact creature token then you may choose a token you control if you do each other token you control becomes a copy of that token that is really good yeah because that's every turn you're making a 2-1 not only that but you're making copies of others yeah okay cool I like that I do too I really like that one invasion of Cossus ward pay 2 life that's pretty good yeah uh I like negate that's just a unique land. That's also another... I'm getting a lot of lands. So you want to hear something that I thought was the dumbest thing ever? Sure. It just gave me... I, okay, that's two of those now. Yeah. So I've witnessed a uh, sorcery counterspell. And I was like, why would you ever want this? I mean, I guess if somebody played an instant during your turn, it'd walk. It couldn't have been very expensive, could it have? It was only two mana. Oh, that's good. Oh, put that in a rainbow deck. 
Yeah, that is a rando. That is a rando rainbow commander right there. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Wait, what is that uh, warrior right down there? The or the ogre warrior dude. Haste. Uh, when it attacks with the top six cards of your library, you may reveal a dragon card from among them and put it in your hand. Put the rest in the bottom of your library in a random order. Oh, that is good. Yeah. Dragon. Also, I like this too because it uh gives something vigilance and a plus one plus one. Yeah, but it only gives the vigilance until end of turn. Which is all it needs, because if you can swing it, and it won't tap. Yeah. I mean, that's really all you need it for. Yeah. I mean, I like backup as a whole, so. Yeah, I like the way backup is now. Let's see. Oh, dude. I love the way these look, man. I personally use that one right there. Toughness equal to your devotion of white. Well, I'm a white player, so I'd have a lot of, I'd have a lot of toughness there. I made a pure uh, white deck out of that thing. Did you really? Yeah. And it, 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 it made one person mad, and then it made me mad. Ooh, when it is the battlefield exit, target plays graveyard, and then you can sacrifice it. Humans you control gain hexproof and indestructible until the end of turn. So if you needed to swing out, you could just sacrifice this thing. Or somebody's just trying to kill all your creatures. Yeah. That's not a good commander, but that is a great card to add to yeah. a uh, human tribal deck. Yeah. Oh, I like that. Yeah. Other permanents you control have hexproof. Okay. Ooh. That's actually great for a green white because everything you have has hexproof. You may look at the top card of your library anytime. Dude, I, I like that. Why, why does green white always just have to be so powerful for no reason? You can, you can cast angel spells and human spells from the top of your library. That's dope. Dude, green white's getting way too much support. Getting powerful, man. It's getting way too much support, my friend. Volcanic Spite deals three damage to target creature, planeswalker, or battle. Put a card from your hand at the bottom That's of the library. That's good, because you can do that to your own battle. Yeah. Uh, when it deals combat damage to player, return target artifact or enchantment card from your graveyard to the battlefield. That's not bad. So 2-5. 4 drop, 2-5. No, I like that. especially. Since I do, too. It's I don't a dinosaur mind. deck? Yeah. Dude, I hate dinosaur decks. And I like that. <laughs> Destroy target creature with power three or less. Dude, that ain't even fair. That looks so good. Literally I won't even be able to though. use it. Well, I mean, you can use it in Historic. I know, but I don't play Historic, so I can't use it. Also, Historic Brawl, I use it in, I've used it in Commander before. Spells gain rebound if you played, or if you attack with this guy this turn. You know what rebound does, right? Yeah. Do we have enough? How much are packs? They're about It's like a, a thousand... For one, yeah. Yeah, but I want to buy Aftermath. Uh, what is a Mythic pack? That that guaranteed Mythic in there? Yeah. It, it, it has a little bit better cards, Mythic packs do. Man, I figured these would get cheaper the further you went back. Nope. But nope, they stay the exact same price. Wait, right, well. they get you. <laughs> yeah, that is, a way, that is a good way to get you. But actually, let's go to our, uh, our deck. Let's just take a scroll through. It's going to show the new card right ahead. Yep. I just want to go ahead and get all the news gone. We got a lot of cards from that. I mean, yeah, you had like a crap ton of packs. I know, I had 23 packs. Because I've been saving them all up to open them in one big video. Yeah. I'm going to have to build you a deck. Maybe. Maybe I'll build one that'll beat you. Eh, I don't know about that. I don't know, you are a good deck builder. Especially for solo okay. play, dude. Oof. What is that? It changes the skin of it. Nothing's changing, though. Look down. I'm so confused. Get out of it? Uh, I don't know. It's doing something weird as well. Okay. Anyways. Yeah, that's it. All right, well, uh, thank you all for watching. I appreciate it. If you enjoyed this type of content, please let me know. Uh, maybe we'll start doing some, you know, maybe we'll make a channel devoted to this type of content later down the road. Uh, I know you're talking to me back here, but... I know I am. We got to do that at some point. Dude, but, uh... <laughs> we're going to... Okay, so, guys, I need you to rate this name out of 1 to 10, if anybody's watching. Um... <laughs>
Well, this far into the video, anyway. Because I know there's people that watch. Um, but rate it 1 out of 10. We're trying to make a Magic the Gathering channel. Themed. Themed channel. Magic the Gathering themed channel called Card Corner. Where I will be your host with Jesse as a co-host. And so we're just going to be talking about decks, magic in general, and our own exclusive idea of making our own cards and then playing with our own cards. Mm -hmm. We already have in the works a Titanfall-themed deck build. He has it in the works. I just help him balance he, it. Yeah. He makes me not go from like crazy like, oh, if this card swings, I return all creature cards to the battlefield. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's had some crazy ideas that I've had to shoot down. <laughs> like, I think I had a 2-2 uh, two -two flyer for 5 mana that that stated once it hit the battlefield, your opponent can't cast more than 2 spells per turn. 2 spells per turn and can only have 3 ca creatures on the battlefield. Yeah, it was ridiculous. It was, it was like one of those cards that would get banned week of release. But it did sound like a Magic the Gathering card because it's because a, it was unbalanced and all get go like they normally it, do. It's a five <laughs> mana two two. It's a five mana two two that basically makes you can only play two cards per uh, turn, and then, and then you can only have three creatures on the battlefield. Hey, you know you've yet to give them the name to rate yet. I said card corner. No, you didn't. Yeah, we call. Okay, so guys, go he back wants and... you to rate the name. Card corner, corner, one through ten. Yeah. Do a comment down below or dislike the video if you like that name. Don't dislike the video, <laughs> dude. Uh, how about you guys just leave a thumbs up, and if you don't, I will find you. No, he will not. He's not smart enough for that, and he can't read. Shut up. Yeah, that's a diss on you. I still build a better commander deck than you do, and yeah. just a regular deck than you do. All right, well... I'll leave it at that, you guys. I will see you all in the next one. Adios and goodbye.